As you all know, I'm the CRS teacher. We want to give you the scheme of work for the term. The first scheme for the term, the first week, we have the Holy Spirit and the mission. As one verse eight, come on, as two verse fourteen to forty one, and as eight. Number two, importance of the coming of the Holy Spirit to the early Christian church. Number three, the healing of the lame man at the beautiful gate. Acts 3, 1 to 26. Number four, the arrest of Peter and John and the life of the early church. Acts 4, 1 to 37. Five to six, the story of Ananias and Sapphira and the arrest of the apostles. Acts 5, 1 to 42. Seven, the election of, of the seven deacons and Stephen preaching, and Stephen preaching, Acts 6, 1 to 15. Eight to nine, the arrest of Stephen and his death, Acts 7, 1 to 15. And ten, the tenth week is revision. That is, those, those are the topics we have for the ten. And this morning, we want to look at the first topic, which is the Holy Spirit and the nation. Acts 1, verse 8, and Acts 2, verse 14 to 14, and Acts 8. The Holy Spirit and the nation. You remember Jesus promised his disciples that he will send another advocate to them. Now, the time came, Jesus really came. The disciples, they were in one room. It happened on the day of Pentecost. They were in one room, they were preach, praying. All of a sudden, a sound from heaven came, very loud sound like a rush of a mighty wind and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Immediately there appeared to them tongues of fire. You see them, all of them they were speaking in different languages. They were speaking in tongues. They were praying in tongues, preaching in tongues, speaking different languages on that day. When the people outside heard them, it was very early in the morning, they said, ah, these people, they were drunk. Are these people not drunk? Some said they were drunk. Then, the sound of the wind attracted multitude, including the Jews and the devout men. It attracted them. They came out and said, ah, what are these people doing? Are they drunk? Some said, ah, how can they be drunk this early morning? Then, that was when Peter now stood up and spoke to them. He told them that they were not He told them that they were not drunk. How can somebody be drunk this early morning? It was too early that they were not drunk. And it was the influence of the Holy Spirit. Then that was when Peter started preaching to them. He told them that Jesus told them that he would send another advocate to be with them, that he has really sent it. They are now those that were speaking different languages, they were hearing what the disciples were speaking. So after the Holy Spirit had come on them, they now had the power. They were now bold to preach, to talk, to pray, and that fear in them left them. That is what the Holy Spirit does. Once the Holy Spirit comes into one's life, there will be a very great change. That was what happened in the life of the apostles. You remember after they killed Jesus, the, the apostles, they were afraid. They were afraid to come out. Because of what happened to their master, they, they, they were afraid that they didn't know whether something else 
we come and happen, something might happen to them, they come out and their master that they depended on, they just took him and killed him like that. Because of that, the apostles they were scared, they stayed in one room and could not do anything, they could not come out boldly to preach. But on that day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they were bold, they came out, they were preaching, praying in tongues, speaking different languages, which people were hearing. So, they prophesied, young men prophesied, sons and daughters prophesying, young men will see vision, old men will dream dreams, and the man servant and will also prophesy. So that was what happened on that day of Pentecost. So do we have any questions there? So preacher, uh, uh, Peter's speech, speech converted so many persons, up to 3,000 persons were converted because of the way Peter preached to them. He reminded them the prophecy of a joy. So, that was what happened. That was how the Holy Spirit came upon them. Do we have any questions? Any questions? Okay. Now, when next we meet, we discuss the importance of the coming of the Holy Spirit to the church. Thank you very much and have